Hey y'all, it's just me. So, if y'all watched our last video, you'll know what this means. That it means that we are gonna be, or I'm gonna be filming the video for my haunted place that I used to work. And I've had two jobs in my entire life, and I'm only 20, so yeah. Uh, both of the places were haunted. One was a friendly haunting. The other one was just kind of weird. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. And the first place I worked, I'm not going to disclose the name because they went out of business and they were a little mom and pop's place. It was a little cafe on a little two-lane road in a backward, backwoods town in the middle of nowhere. And I was a cashier there for weekends, which was only Saturdays, was what I was allowed to work. And I never worked more than eight hours a week. Um, so I was really, oh my gosh, that just fell. I'm sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, the um, place I worked at, it was a little mom and pop place. And I only worked eight hours a week. It was only on Saturdays. Never got a very big paycheck. It was just to kind of get me experience and get my foot kind of in the door. Um, anyway, we would have instances, there was a girl that worked with me, and she could see things that we can see, and she just would look at me and she's like, you see him, right? And I'm like, yeah, and this, all of a sudden, we had a little bell on the door, and you could hear the bell rattle, you'd hear the door open and close, and the little fan come on and everything no one would walk by you and then in the very back corner in the very back booth an old man would sit there and drink a cup of coffee never failed it was what i could see but there was like literally no one there and it was really weird and so that was kind of the first thing there um in the back there wasn't much or anything at all that would really be haunted um We'd have a ticket appear on my screen for that table and then it would pay itself and it was only for a cup of coffee which was like a dollar and something because he was a senior it was like really interesting and stuff and i'm like oh my gosh this is crazy well they start ended up folding and they didn't need me anymore so I was only working one day a week, so it's not a big deal. It was just the loss of literally $45 a week. That's it. And went and Seth and I stayed together for a while after that. And then we broke up, which a lot of people don't quite know about unless you actually know us. But we did. We broke up for a while. It was five months. And I ended up working at a Burger King in Florence because we used to live in Kershaw and Lancaster and stuff like that. And so I ended up working at a Burger King here in Florence. And I'm not going to get into quite all the juiciness about that place. But, um, and so it's not like I'm disclosing which Burger King in Florence because we have like five of them. Um. But I'm going to say it was pretty close to my house and stuff. But the... We had a guy that worked there. And I don't know if he, he would even care if I said his name. But anyway, I'm not going to. Um, but he worked there and... Like, he couldn't see things. But, like, we knew there was something there. Like, he could kind of feel things and stuff. Um, and so I asked my dad. I was like, what used to be there? And he said no joke not kidding that there used to be a log cabin then on that lot and then that after that it was transformed into a gay bar no offense to anyone who's gay but that's what it was and then they took and demolished the log cabin which was renovated to be the gay bar and they demolished it and sold it to burger king and they built on it well I'm like, okay, that explains a lot. 
we had this pole in the very back of the store and you could see again I'm a cashier by the way and again you could see sometimes a shadowy figure dancing on a pole and I'm like okay what the heck was this place because this was before I knew what my dad had told me it was and the next thing I knew my um co-worker who I'm not going to say his name he came around the corner and he's like you saw that right and I'm like yeah and we, we literally watched a neatly piled stack of dishes just fall to the floor like if someone knocked them over or tripped over them there was nothing there and we could just see this thing go Doom! and I'm like okay um nobody was even in that corner or area at the time even the general manager was like what in the world as we kind of had a little joke it was like the burger king ghost well there was one day i went to work and i had the morning crew so i had to go in at five in the morning and i went in and i had to stalk a certain section of the um drive through and I kid you not, I walked in the walk-in cooler, and as soon as you walk in the walk-in cooler, on this side, at the very top shelf, was your decaf and your regular coffee. <laughs> the decaf coffee fell on my head. Like, fell on my head. Thank God it was just a little box. It wasn't like a lot of coffee in it, but it was hilarious. The whole box just falls on me. No one else is in the cooler, and I'm like okay interesting well i go to because i have to get so many packs of each kind of coffee and so i go to get a pack couple packs of regular coffee and i'm thinking why is this in here there was a um pan that we'd put like sausages or hamburgers and stuff like that in literally was clean but it was in the box of coffee and i'm like okay this is not right well the next thing I know is we would uh, where I was working at of course as being the cashier I'd hear the thing go off because I worked the drive-through or kind of whichever register they wanted me to but I did mostly do drive-through and you could hear the little dinger thing like if you haven't worked in fast food you wouldn't know what I'm talking about but Basically, when a car pulls up to the speaker, it'll go beep or ding, and it'll be in the headset. And I would hear that, and it was the same time every morning, and it was like 10.30 on the dot. Never failed. And we just learned to ignore it, but it was the weirdest thing. There was never anyone there, and it was when we were dead, and there was never a car in the parking lot that wasn't parked. No one going through the parking lot, no one going around the parking lot, no one, nothing. Nothing. It was the creepiest thing. Well, then we, there was a certain section I had to clean and stuff, and it was really low to the floor, and it was under the drink cabinet. And I'm like, how are there fingerprints here? Like, they're like my sized hand fingerprints. And I'm not kidding you. Like, the only one who could have reached that level for that reason would have been a child. And, I mean, they're not, like, near the handle of the door to, like, open the cabinet or anything. Like, they're in the middle, like, if someone just went back to the middle of the cabinet. And I'm like, what in the world? I'd be cleaning the bathrooms, and I'd hear someone come in, but the door wouldn't open. And I'd hear the toilet flush. And I'm like, what in the world? So, next thing I know, it's just kind of getting weird and really crazy and stuff. And um, we had food go missing. One day I went into, because it was Burger King, we had the crowns, you pre-make them and you set them on the top of the counter. Well, for the kids to get or the parents to give them to the kids. I'm telling you, we'd have no one in the building that day. I'd have the count the, the crowns all the way up and everything. 
fully done and everything like all the crowns were up there I'd come back from the bathroom like two hours later not had anybody be in the store maybe maybe one customer that's it and I kid you not over half the crowns are gone and we don't know where they went nobody in the drive-thru gave them to anybody no cars have come through drive-thru because you have to keep your headset on and it was so weird and I'm like what in the world is going on we'd have things get moved around rearranged we'd have like a random fry cart and end up in the straw box it'd be so weird and nobody would do it and it was the creepiest thing ever the boss lady even was like okay something is going on like she even knew because she would have things touch her and stuff and it was really funny and weird but that's basically it that happened there um it was really weird um and that's all I have to say about it it was really weird um I am gonna say this with our last video I'm sorry that I had the camera set up wrong and I looked really tiny <laughs> or like I wasn't even there um but we will be doing a part three I have that on the schedule we took yesterday off um to just do some random things and stuff and enjoy ourselves and the reason I'm doing this video today instead of our part three is I kind of feel like it's a little too much for a part three of our haunted house and like to be back to back seeing as how I'm trying to see how much we can post in a week and it's kind of looking like we can do daily uploads if y'all don't mind the chitty chattiness because we can't do vlogging type stuff which by the way I'm trying to get a laptop we're gonna see how that works um, I went to Walmart to see if I could get a laptop and y'all I'm not kidding with everyone having to do online school there's no laptops they're even selling the displays like there's no laptops so but anyway um, I'm gonna let y'all go I'm sorry this video was a little bit on the shorter side maybe thankful for y'all because you don't like hearing us talk but oh well <laughs> Um, anyway, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already. Share it to all your friends because we're trying to get 100 subscribers by Friday. Now, the video I was talking about in part one of our Haunted House series is um, going to be coming. I'm not sure how to disclose the information that happened um, politely because I'm still because of previous incidences I'm going to therapy for a um, mental issue that I have because of somebody and the results of their conflict with me has ended up with not having a good ending so um yeah I'm not mad at myself because I know why I did what I did but I'm mad because of what happened and how it happened so anyway that's enough on that topic I might do that video tomorrow or I might do the um haunted house part three it depends um but anyway I'm done rambling thank y'all for watching we'll see y'all in our next video Please get us to 100 subscribers by Friday at midnight. I know y'all can do it. There's 10 of you. If 10 people, send it to 10 people that they know. I know somebody knows at least 10 people. I, I know at least 10 people. But whether they'd watch it or not, I don't know. But I know at least 10 people. Send it to somebody. If you have to, share it to Facebook or share it to um, Instagram or something like that for whoever you want to to see it. Twitter if y'all even have it. I don't have Twitter. Never have. My husband hasn't either. So we won't know about that if you post it on there. But anyway, we'll see y'all in our next video, guys. Bye.